It's Steven with DMS Cleaning. You're tuned into the most humble show. Boom! <laughs> Yo, it's the most humble show. How much do you know about the Bible? My favorite segment. We're live here with my buddy Steven from DMS Cleaning. Yo, yo, what's up, Ben? This is Steven. I know. I already said that. I said it was Steven from DMS Cleaning, and and you're here talking to me. You got to talk to the audience. You got to tell them something fun about you and how much you know about the Bible on a scale of 1 to 10. Well, that's a good question. I'm probably about a 2 out of 10. Uh, one interesting fact, though, I do like to golf. Nice. Are you, are you under par? Oh, uh, no. We're like shooting the hundreds. But you're having fun. Yeah, absolutely. Having fun, hanging out with the buddies. I'd love to go out there sometime and join you in my electric chair, dude. I'd be driving around, riding around and getting it. True or false? The Bible's the most popular book ever written. True. Whatever. You start off with a true, you get it right, you get an air horn, you get it wrong. <laughs> Today's prize, uh, this art piece that I'd value it. Just hundreds. It's a great piece. Priceless. Piece. Yes. It's wood, which I like to just choose cool pieces of wood. I cut it out in a fun way. Here, uh, what do you see? See a guy spitting some music. Yeah, spitting fire. Love it. Well, you can win that if you get seven more correct. If you don't, well, you know, you go home and you read the Bible a bit more, you come back. Let's get it. <laughs> You're tuned in. What's the first book of the Bible? The first Testament? No. What? <laughs> so, no, and I'm not laughing, but it's, they are, so all the people are laughing. Uh, it's Genesis. I can't even believe it. It's all right. It's all right. Who was the first woman? First man. Jesus Christ? Adam. Adam and Eve. <laughs> Yeah, did you not know that? No, I did. I just that wasn't where I was thinking. Yeah, that's no, okay. The first man and woman were the who you're thinking about ranking? Yeah. Respect. All right, we'll give you another try. Who did God tell to build an ark? Noah. Yes. Wow, dude. <laughs> Noah's ark. Two out of three. What was God signed to Noah that he'd never destroy the earth again? Got me stumped on that one. I'll give you a hint. The gays really like it. Rainbow. Oh, rainbow. Rainbow. <laughs> yep. It's, it's true, man. I'm just saying. God provided that as a sign he'd never again destroy the earth with water. So, how many brothers did Joseph have? I'm going to take a little guess here. I'm going to go with four. No. Eleven. <laughs> 12 tribes of Israel, man. 12 tribes of Israel, and it's okay. We're going to recover it. These next seven ones, six ones, I think, if you get six, we could work with you. How did Moses' mom save him from the Egyptian soldiers? I don't know. Through what did God speak to Moses in the desert? Water. <laughs> Burning. Ashes. Bush. Why are you burning ashes, bro? Ashes occur after things are already burned, so God would be frustrating. This guy's burning ashes. How many plagues did God send on Egypt? Another guess. Seven. Ten! No! This picture's not yours. There's no way you're going home with it, but I'm still sending you a gift card from Blazing Jays. Shout out our sponsor. Oh, uh, Blazing Jays. Jays is great. Yeah, get them chicken and waffles. Which, and we're not encouraging bad behavior. You should read the Bible. This is. This is not great, but we care that you came on, and we enough to ask you, what did God bring Moses through to save the slaves? Egyptian army chasing them. They're leaving Israel. You may have heard the famous story of when Moses parted the... The sea? Yes. What does that mean? We'll give you half credit if you can explain. <laughs> I don't know. What's it mean? Yeah, what's it mean? 
Not sure. Moses, uh, he was he struck the, the I may mean, not have struck, but God told him the waters. The the basically the army's chasing them, bro. They got water ahead of them. What are we gonna do? Drown or get killed by the Egyptian army? And God's like, yeah, just opened it up the water so they could walk through. So it parted it, parted the seas, opened it up. Then, and there's geological proof of this, the Egyptian army followed them, and then God closed the seas, and they were trapped in there, and they're still, you can look it up online um, objectively and see that there's still chariots, like old Egyptian chariots and stuff trapped under in the Red Sea, which is a real place. So God, Moses, Red Sea, story time. Good guesses. Thanks for tracking with us, Stephen. Where did God give Moses the Ten Commandments? In Israel. No, maybe potentially on a mountain. You're not doing great, but you're still our friend. You got two more. Who is Jesus' adoptive father on earth? Mary and Joseph. Yes. This is close, but it's air All right, name the city where Jesus was born. Bethlehem. Yes, we're going to end it on a good note with Stephen from DMS Cleaning. Maybe even a 1 out of 10 with how much you know about the Bible, but a great participant, a good friend. Thank you, bro. Thank you so much, Ben. Thanks for coming on the show. And uh, how can people reach you if they're interested in cleaning services? Once again, best way to reach me is going to be reaching out on the cell, 610-999-0966. Peace. Hello, and thanks for tuning in to the Most Humble Show. This is Steve Furman with Allied Mortgage Group. I'm a senior loan officer, and I've been with Allied Mortgage for over 18 years. If you're looking for a lender with low closing costs, low interest rates, and exceptional service, look no further. 856-371-9336. Again, 856-371-9336. Just ask for Steve, and we will go above and beyond helping you get approved to purchase your new home. NMLS number 199530. Again, just ask for Steve. We're always here to help and looking forward to speaking to you soon.